what is your favorite martial art? When my friend asked me that, I, I replied all of them. <laughs> but I also promised that I tried to narrow it down a bit. So, uh, I guess I would start with karate. And I view karate as a family of styles. To that end, there are roughly three dozen kata across these different styles that they have in common. There are a few that they don't have in common, but roughly three dozen that are common across most major styles. And that's why I see them all as sort of being part of the same family. My interest in the past few years has been to take a look at these kata and the different versions of them and to try to figure out how the movements can be used in relation to what we would call habitual acts of violence. You know, this is sort of akin to what Ian Abernethy's doing, and, you know, he's just the most notable one, but, you know, there's a growing community of what's called practical karate. So I like that. I also like researching the, you know, historically how, you know, the, the original Okinawans used to fight. I like investigating how the sport side of karate comes into play in different environments, whether it's like knockdown karate like Kyokushin, or whether it's in kickboxing environments, whether it's in mixed martial arts environments. So yeah, I, I'm interested in the practical side of karate, but it's the first thing that I began studying. I still enjoy studying it. So that would be the first thing that I would mention. Uh, probably the second thing would be catch wrestling slash shoot wrestling. I think that there's a difference there but I also think that they are related. Uh, basically, Western submission wrestling, you know, part of that, again, is just, it was one of the first submission grappling styles that I really got exposed to when I began practicing with friends. Because <laughs> that's what it was. There were no classes. So I'd grab a, a buddy, usually somebody that had some sort of martial arts background, and I'd flip through, you know, Judo Jean LaBelle's book or, you know, Ken Shamrock's first book, you know, or after watching uh, Tony Cicchini's, Cicchini, I don't know how to pronounce his name, you know, watching his video set and like, okay, we're going to practice this move. You know, I'd been exposed to traditional jiu-jitsu and judo before that, but there were a lot of things there that required you to be wearing a gi. Gis can get expensive. <laughs> so all I need for catch wrestling is just like workout clothes. And it also appeals to me in its general philosophy, which is get on top, stay on top. You know, I think that works well for most situations where strikes could be involved. Uh, it will provides an easy method of disengaging if I need to get off of the ground, because I don't have to worry about getting the guy's weight off of me if I'm the guy on top. Uh, it also pressures in a lot of ways, which... I appreciate the approach to basically trying to break the other guy's spirit. You know, fights get a lot easier if you just make the other guy miserable and he just doesn't want to be there. Uh, compared to what I was seeing from judo and traditional jiu-jitsu, I think it also had a wider variety of attacks. You know, a, a wider variety of neck cranks, uh, certainly leg locks. I would say these days, no gi jiu-jitsu is really... At this point, is at the cutting edge of leg locks, you know. But at the time, everybody was pretty much showing a straight ankle lock, and you know, Gene LaBelle was showing, you know, here's you know three different ankle cranks, and you know, Shamrock's showing like, here's a knee bar, and also here's a toe hold, and also here's a heel hook, you know, just so much more than the basic straight ankle lock. And so I I appreciated that, uh, and also. The idea of lock flows, which allows for, like, attack, 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 attack. So, I like that. Um, I don't think it is the best grappling system out there necessarily, but I, I really value what it brings to the table. I like the flavor of it the most when it comes to the grappling styles that include submissions. I uh, got a shout-out, Jeet Kune Do. You know, one of the first uh, books I ever got on martial arts was uh, one of the Bruce Lee's fighting method books, uh, Advanced Techniques, Volume 3, I think. 
you know, and I appreciated the philosophy more than necessarily the physical side. I think the physical side is really good. But when he's talking about, okay, we need to streamline your martial art as opposed to, you know, do it this way because this is the traditional way and this is how we do it. It's like that we, we can't telegraph our moves. You know, that was important. You know, we need to think about what position we need to be in in order to execute attacks. So I like that. I think, you know, the stance and the uh, general arsenal was already compatible with what I was doing in karate. You know, just, okay, streamline my techniques. Okay, I can do that. You know, because on a fundamental level, you know, sidekick's a sidekick, right? So I like that. And I know this is going to ruffle some feathers, but... I appreciate that from that base you can also sort of uh, expand what is going on with that. You, know, you, you can take the the upper body tools of Jeet Kune Do, which mostly come from boxing, or in a lot of ways they do. You know, take that and anything you do in boxing you can do in Jeet Kune Do, cool. Uh, how about this Panantukan stuff, where you're like throwing backhands and Okay, that seems also compatible with this. So, to sort of segue, not, do, not only do I like Jeet Kune Do, and again, the things that you can sort of like ratchet onto, you know, what Bruce Lee was showing in the books, or, or what they were showing in the books that they credited to Bruce Lee after he died. You know, all the things that you can continue to adapt for the environments that you find yourself in. I could go on and on, I mean... There are so many things that I find valuable in martial arts, whether it's a particular flavor. Like, I like the the foot sweeps and close-in, you know, elbows and palm strikes of Silat, right? Uh, I think Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, from a practical standpoint, has the best escapes against, you know, pins and hold-downs that I've ever seen. You know, I like Muay Thai for, you know, what it does in the clinch. I like Boxe Francaise because of the way it does its combinations. Uh, I like military combatives for their directness. So, you know, there's... I like martial arts. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to find something I like in almost everything. So, yeah. I guess ultimately that is my answer. Everything. I like everything. But I'm going to shout out those particular three things because they do have a special meaning to me.